if you look at my web page now, you'll notice that the in F Safari I have one font and in Firefox I have another. And that's because I didn't define a font for my site yet. And what's what's take what's defining the font now is my browser because if I go into my browser's preferences, you see that it has Helvetica set as its standard font. So that means it's going to it's going to default to this font when no font for the page is defined and in Firefox I have the similar thing I have the default font set as times 16 I mean you know if I could set it to whatever I want because I'm the user but now as the web author I want to define a font going back to my page this font that I was using here, I do believe, is um, Georgia. Yeah. Um, is it Georgia? I'm pretty sure it is. Let me. There we go. Yep, that's what it is. So I really like that font, and so that's what I'm going to choose. Um, Georgia also is one of a web safe font, and we'll discuss that in a second. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new style. So I'm looking at Dreamweaver and from the, from the CSS panel I'm going to go down here and click to create a new style and the kind of style that I'm going to select that this just did something else it auto filled it for me but I want to redefine a tag and I'll take this out and the tag that I'm going to define is body. Now if you remember everything is within the body tag everything viewable viewable on the page is within the body tag so by me defining a font family for the body inheritance is going to dictate that any of the other elements inside of the body are going to inherit this attribute that inherit the specific font family and if it's going to have that font unless I redefine some other part to have a different font so when I did that when I look you see that the choices I have here by default are all web safe fonts meaning that no matter if you're on Windows or a Mac or even Linux you are gonna have um, these fonts installed on your system now the reason why you do this is if you define a font as the main font for your website and the user doesn't have that particular font it's gonna default back to whatever they selected in their browser unless of course you provide them with a download for the font face that you're using and have them install it which you know you could do that but it seems like more trouble than it's worth for the user just to visit your site and more likely than not they're just gonna use whatever default is in their browser so I'm gonna choose Georgia Times New Roman Times serif as my um, my font for my website and my line height I just want to choose this as well I like using, I, I use this particular line height all the time, which is 1.3, and then it's M's. And an M, let me apply that, an M, what's equal to one M is right here, I have it. this M, this is exactly what it's referring to. This is the size of one M, the standard uh, size of one M, which M, the character M, taking up the most space, you know, width and space. So it says that my line height, and that's, you know, um, like spacing between the lines is going to be 1.3 times the size of a capital A M. And let me save this. And when I preview this in my page, let's see what happens. So now I'm in Firefox and refresh it. And there we go. So now I have, let me also compare this to Safari to make sure that there we go so now I know what you're thinking these font sizes are different that's because I haven't defined anything yet as the default font size for them so um, but one step at a time the first thing I did now is just define my font family and my font uh, my line height for everything on the page 